How many languages do you speak? I've known people that can speak three, four, five, six different languages. You know why there are so many languages? Because of the Tower of Babel or Babel. In the Bible, in Genesis, it talks about how everybody had one language originally, but then because they followed their own hearts and not followed after God, they used that one language to make a name for themselves and build a structure. They say, hey, we can get to heaven on our own. We don't need God. And that was what's now known to history as the Tower of Babel. Well, that tower was never fully constructed. It wasn't going to reach heaven anyway. But what God did was he came down and he confused the languages. He created all the different languages that we have today, or at least the foundation of the languages that we have today, so that they could never really get together again to try to reach heaven on their own. Centuries later, on a day that is called Pentecost, which simply means 50 days, languages were used again, this time to unify. In all the different languages of the people that were gathered together in one place, and they, they, they spoke Greek, they spoke Latin, they may have spoke a dialect of Latin called it Italian, they spoke Hebrew or Aramaic, they spoke maybe Persian or any of the other languages in the Middle East at that time, all the disciples of Jesus were able to speak those languages by the power of the Holy Spirit. And they spoke one message. Jesus Christ was born to be our substitute, lived perfectly to be our righteousness by faith, died on the cross to forgive all your sins and all my sins. He rose from the grave, which means that we too will rise from the grave one day. And he ascended into heaven and he has given us the task of sharing the good news about Jesus that you are hearing in all your different languages. What was once a cause of utter confusion, now the many languages are used to be able to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to more and more people around the world. How many languages do you speak? If you're a follower of Jesus, use those languages to tell people the good news about Jesus.